Michael, a 99-95 victory over uh, the Raging Cages this afternoon. Get back in the win column, but thought your team showed a lot of maturity the way you responded after those two heartbreaking losses last week. Really took it to them in the first half. Yeah, uh, you know, after those two buzzer beater losses, we were really just itching to get back on the court, and uh, we are just ready to play another game, and uh, we got off to a really hot start. Obviously, it's a very talented team, and uh, Gant had a big second half for them, and they made a charge, made it closer in the end. But you guys made a lot of plays in particular. You made a lot of big shots, shot off the wing, a shot out of the corner. And just talk about uh, executing in that moment when you know your team needs a basket. Yeah, um, you know, it just kind of comes to you. You just kind of run the run the play, and if the ball comes to you and you have an open shot, you just shoot it. You know, it's just, you don't have to really overthink it. Um, I, I knew we, we needed to play, but the ball just ended up in my hands, and um, you know, people made great passes, and I was able to make the shots. Coach Richard has talked all year about one of the strengths of this team is the fact that you can have distributed scoring every night. All five starters tonight in double figures. How does that help the offense, especially in the first half? Because you guys are really hitting on all cylinders, getting everybody involved. Yeah. I mean, it really helps the offense because um, if you key in on one or two guys, then they just uh, leave three other guys that are all capable of scoring a lot of points open. So um, I don't think you can really key in or double team anybody because if you do that, then, um, then another guy will have a big night. Deshaun made a lot of plays down here at the end, especially when they went in isolation situations. Goes 13 for 13 at the free throw line. Uh, talk about when he steps the line. I know you guys got a ton of a confidence in him. Oh, yeah. When he steps to the line at the end of the games, we got tons of confidence in him, not only at the line, but just making plays out there. Um, you know, I, I really like, really enjoy playing with him in, in the backcourt, and I think we uh, can have some success. We'd we'll be remiss without asking about the atmosphere today. Over 4,300 fans here today. They were really into it. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, to our fans, it was a great, great environment out here today. Probably the best that I've ever been a part of uh, during my time at Louisiana Monroe. It was just awesome to see people come out and to cheer us on. Now, this starts a uh, three-game homestand. You've got uh, Troy and South Alabama coming up. Uh, it's important to carry this momentum in because, obviously, to make a run at the conference championship, you've got to be able to protect home court advantage. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, this is just one game. Uh, you know, it's an 18-game conference season, so we're lucky to get this one. But, um, you know, we got to come Thursday and Saturday ready to play, no doubt.